What's going on guys? Welcome to your second SEO tutorial. What we're going to talk about in today's tutorial is the keyword tools from Google AdWords and learning how to create quality content on your website or your YouTube uh, video or whatever you're uploading. And what I mean by quality content, I mean content that is going to be optimized for a search engine so it'll be higher in the rankings. And one mistake that a lot of people do, even myself when I was getting started with uh, creating tutorials, and I, I'm not very good with optimizing my tutorials on my bring back because I only work on that site when I have free time and I just want to bust out a bunch of tutorials for people um, so I don't really spend a whole lot of time on SEO which I should but I haven't uh, the mistake that people make is they write out their blog post and then they're like oh keywords okay I can type some maybe and they don't really research any keywords they just kinda of type what they want and then the, they might use a tool like this to find some better keywords that's not the way you want to do it if you want to have a successful website what you want to do first is find your keywords and then write your title and your content based on the keywords that you find so for example I'm gonna be using this tutorial series I'm gonna find something related to SEO tutorials and then like keywords for example in this tutorial uh, or keyword tools or Google AdWords or something like that something along those lines I need to find a title for this because I already know what we're talking about so what you need to do first is go to this keyword tool just go to Google and search keyword uh, tool and it should be the Google AdWords keyword tool right here now you want to be logged into your Google account because you're gonna have more features available to you if you have a Gmail account and uh, you'll see those in a second but you'll also get a lot more feedback as well so make sure you have a Google account or a Gmail account and then sign up for this you don't have to pay anything it's free so the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the keyword or the phrases something that you think you would search to find you know this video so we're gonna say like SEO let's just start out with that and I'll kinda of explain the keywords tool uh, and we'll just search SEO and then we're gonna to go to this keyword ideas as you can see SEO is searched 11 million times a month and the competition is medium now let me just kinda of break some of this down for you medium competition that's bad what you want when you're looking for keywords is a very low competition and a somewhat low monthly global search now you probably are thinking why do you want a low monthly global search well let's just for example sake say this SEO right here was low competition and it gets 11 million views okay there's low competition that means I might be able to get some people to come to our site because the competition's low and there's a lot of people searching for this well let's just use this exact example because mediums a lot better than high if you kinda hover over this guy it says 0.54 that still leaves this huge number of other people trying to use the SEO tag most likely these are very powerful companies uh, because a lot of like million dollar companies or billion dollar companies pay a ton of money to SEO um, or search engine optimization tools even like twenty thousand a month just for a tool that they can use to capitalize on let's say this specific tag SEO and they're gonna have a lot more resources and power than you are to get traffic to their site so your competition against these guys is gonna be extremely low you don't want to try to capture something with a huge global monthly search uh, especially when you're getting started maybe once your website gets up there um, you can start going into the higher search ranks but definitely getting started even having under like I'd say 10,000 views a day on your website you don't want to you don't want to work with the millions you want to get a more niche market because more people will come to your site because of that that's kinda of how it works again you want low competition uh, not like you don't want like a super low global monthly search but probably not super high as well so we can set some parameters to this to kinda of filter out what we want uh, that's in the advanced options and filters you can change your specific location um, I generally keep it the same and I I use the parameter for a global monthly search greater than 2000 because 2000 searches a month isn't all that much um, and then I'm gonna add another parameter global monthly searches less than um, 50,000 you know that might be a little high if, again if you're just starting a website but something like that to help us filter through some of these things 
So obviously it got rid of our SEO tag that we had originally because that had way too many views. And I'm just gonna go back up here and you can add additional lines to this. So I'm gonna say SEO tutorials, SEO, SEO tricks, SEO tips, SEO training. Uh, something to just kind of get the base of this tutorial series um, going. And it's something along these lines, uh, how to get website traffic. Um, so that should be good. I'm gonna research here, again with the same parameters that we had previously. And uh, the next thing that we wanna do actually is go to this match type over here on the left side, uncheck broad, check exact and phrase. Now exact, anything within brack, square brackets, that's gonna be that exact keyword, as you can see here, SEO tips, competitions again high. Uh, for phrase though, um, that kind of varies a little bit. It's kind of the same category, uh, such as SEO tips within quotations. That could be kind of grouping SEO tip and SEO tips together. And as you can see, obviously, that gives a higher global monthly search. Um, but broad makes it much broader and it groups them together in broader ranges. We're looking for, again, niche markets that we can capitalize on. Another thing that we might want to do is go to the columns tab and get the approximate cost per click um, save that and you can see you know someone that's looking for SEO training competition is medium which we don't want again but these are very expensive ads so a lot of people are fighting to get those ads and they will uh, you know use more powerful tools again than the free ones that we have access to to beat you to get those type of ads all right so let's scroll down to get some keyword ideas down here and let's move our competition from high to low and start clipping some of the ones I like. Um, so as for now, I don't really see anything that relates to my tutorial. I could you know, capture something like this, but why would I want to? Someone might be looking for this specific site and then they come to this tutorial that you guys are watching and they're like, this isn't what I wanted, then they get away from it. We wanna captivate the audience that is actually interested in the content that we have as well. So keep that in mind. Don't just try and pick up niche markets because you can. It's not gonna be beneficial for you. And Google might even think that you're sketchy and lower you in the search rankings. All right, sorry guys, that took me forever and I really didn't find a great match for this specific video, but I'm just gonna show you anyways because I don't really wanna waste any more time researching keywords, but obviously you probably do. I don't really care all that much about making money off tutorials. Um, I do it just to help people out and Hopefully they'll help me out in return someday or something like that, you know. Just for example sake, I came up with a few things. You want to have a couple of keywords or key phrases, not necessarily one word because then it's not descriptive enough. Uh, probably a couple words which would be a phrase. So you want to have a couple key phrases that have low competition, a decent amount of views. A lot of times you can find, you know, for example, SEO tutorial. Uh, you can find something that is roughly in this range group, but with like a .01 uh, as a competition level, which would be great for you to use. I'm just going to stick with the SEO tutorial. Um, as you can see here, it's a competition of .66 for the exact match. Um, for a, a phrase somewhat like that, it's .53. Uh, the other thing I just want to show you um, for my example is SEO tutorials. If I search that. The global searches go way down and uh, the competition is still at the 0.61, 0.62 range. Uh, I would have a better likelihood of using one of these, but I'm just going to go for the bigger audience. Um, and if I'm just starting out an SEO website, I would almost have to use one of these guys and hope that I can get uh, one of these 2900, even though that doesn't seem like a large number. There's much less competition with the point six range with only 3,000 um, searches versus if I just did a tutorial and that would be in the 27,000 range with about the same 0.6 or 0.5. So that, that still kind of leaves a, a very rare chance of me being first in the Google search with SEO tutorial. And for this example, optimize isn't probably the best example because some people might try to optimize their life or optimize a workout and it doesn't really apply to optimizing their website. So 
this again isn't very a very good choice for me I'm just gonna be using it anyways uh, because like I said I'm sick of looking at keywords I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do but here's another one I found blog SEO this is a lot better um, as you can see we have a good amount of views per month and the competition is low at 0.28 that's still kinda high I guess um, again most likely you guys will be finding something at the 0.0 one or which will be a lot easier for you to you know be top dog in that category uh, SEO is kind of a tricky tricky one to get into um, and then also for this specific tutorial I might be using this as a reference in the tutorial but again a lot of people just like I mentioned in this tutorial to find this site they're gonna search the Google keywords tool and they aren't exactly looking for a video tutorial on how to use it so I might want to get more specific and say how to use Google Keywords tool um, but I'm just gonna chunk these together and hopefully optimize on some of this low competition here uh, so let me kind of piece this all together into a blog title so I'm gonna kinda of piece together four that's probably not the best technique to use um, I'd say find two good key phrases, keyword phrases um, that have very low competition, point zero something, and within the you know ten thousand range, something like that. Um, obviously, the lower the the monthly searches, the better chance that you're going to be higher in the the search engine. Optimize what SEO tutorial? Optimize SEO uh, tutorial how to was that key phrase yeah I believe the technical name is keyword tool I'm gonna to be using keywords tool because again this is the exact result um, that that this data is showing so even though some people would be like oh this guy's an idiot why should I read this post because it's keyword tool there's some people out there that think that way I'm doing this not necessarily um, for the user I'm doing it to hire our ranking in the system uh, generally for tutorials I don't care about SEO and it's more just providing content that people want to see um, but if you're trying to create a successful website again you want to have something like this um, and I can also throw in uh, this blog SEO here so optimize blog SEO um, so this is my final rendition it's kind of long uh, but it's optimized blog SEO tutorial um, and now that you've seen the back end of this you can see that I've used the optimize keyword uh, the blog SEO key phrase the SEO tutorial key phrase and the Google keywords tutor or tool key phrase as well um, generally you don't have like four or five you don't want to have this many I just sit stick with two um, maybe even just one that's really good and just focus on that so that's kinda how it works that's how the Google keywords tool uh, works and uh, you can find your focus words that you're gonna be using in your blog and your your blog content and your tags which we'll get into in the next tutorial make sure you check that out because we still need to optimize a lot of other things within our blog posts or within our YouTube video uh, the, another thing that you might want to do before you close this tutorial if you guys are working on a project make sure you copy the exact phrases um, and place them down in here in your tags or if you're on YouTube again um, throw it in here and then do a comma and then uh, your next one because these are your keywords that you're using uh, everything that you're focusing on so they obviously should be tags as well uh, thanks again for watching guys I'll catch you in the next tutorial see you later if you enjoy free tutorials please thumbs up the video and click subscribe